are going to make a knuckles costume and we're going to start out with a red shirt and a red hat and some white gloves so it'll be pretty simple not too much work add some red pants to it and we'll be ready to dress up like knuckles here's what it's going to look like let's get started the shirt for our knuckles costume is going to be pretty simple it's actually just solid red with a little white sort of half moon shaped piece on the chest. So I've got a solid red t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt. This is for my son, so this is a kid's size. And then I just got some notebook paper and laid it on the actual shirt that I have and sort of played around tracing the size and shape that I thought the little, you know, crescent shaped piece looked like it should be. So if you have an adult size shirt, obviously it would be a little bit bigger. Um, or if you have a toddler size, it would be smaller. So this is what I finished up with. I like the shape of this, but I thought it was a little too skinny. So I've just made a split at the bottom. And instead of tracing this all over again, I'm going to use this piece as my pattern piece. I'm going to cut this out of white felt. Felt doesn't ravel, so you don't have to worry about finishing the edges. It's very easy to work with for a costume. So I'll cut my white felt piece. Then I'm going to pin it right onto my shirt. And I'm going to machine stitch this part. If you feel more comfortable hand stitching it, that would work just as well too. And then our shirt will be ready to add to our costume. All right, I have mine pinned in the center of the piece so that I have room to stitch real close to the edge all the way around without having to take my pins out. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Next, I'm going to edge stitch it on the sewing machine. That's all we need for our knuckle shirt. For our knuckles hat, we have just a red, stretchy, inexpensive beanie. And we're going to add these um, spikes, hair, whatever it is that knuckles has hanging down on the back here. So for this, I am using some t-shirt scraps. So t-shirt fabric is soft. It's um, got that little bit of stretch to it, but best of all, the edges don't ravel. They may curl up, but they don't ravel. So you don't have to worry about finishing the edges in any particular way. I've got sort of an ice cream cone shape. So the top is kind of round, and then I've got um, a skinny triangle down here at the bottom. What I'm gonna do is fold these two straight edges together, and I'm gonna stitch it just from this top near the curved side, this top edge, about halfway down, I'm gonna stitch that together. I'm gonna let the bottom part hang open and then this round part in the top is where I'm gonna attach it to the hat so that it'll have a little substance there at the top and then just hang down. I've got two already attached and I've got a handful more I'm gonna stitch together and then um, tack onto the hat. We don't want to stitch them on the hat too stiff and firm because we want our hat to still be able to stretch and fit and move on our heads. Um, this one is a kid size. These spikes are hair or whatever are six to seven to eight inches long around in that range. 
So if you're making an adult size, you may want to do them a little bit larger. I've got all my little cones, my little soft cones, stitched together. So they're stitched about halfway down, bottom part's loose, and then this top circle is open. So I'm going to stitch just a little bit of this top edge to my hat. And I'm going to just kind of tag them sort of randomly so it looks like hair or whatever it is that Knuckles has back there hanging down. So there we have our knuckles hat. I've added six of these little dangly thingies. Um, you could probably add more, but that gives the impression. Our knuckles hat's ready. For our knuckles DIY Halloween costume, we need some white gloves with pointed knuckles on them. I've got one already finished. I'm gonna do this part by hand. We've got just some inexpensive white neck gloves. We're gonna use some white uh, felt to make the points. We're gonna stitch them closed by hand and then loosely tack them onto the glove. So, and I'm just eyeballing the spacing of them here. So there you can see it. All right, so I've kind of already played around with the shape of this. To make a cone shape that's finished, you want it to be a triangle with a rounded bottom so i've already played around with this some and this one is a little bit over three inches wide about three and a quarter or so and it's about an inch and a half tall and it has a very wide angled top and then the curved bottom so all we're going to do is put those flat sides together and this is white felt so felt does not ravel so we don't have to worry about finishing the edges so we're going to put those flat sides together and stitch, just hand stitch on that flat edge. So the bottom is open. You can see there's two little cones, kind of like a birthday hat shape. So we're going to put these onto the glove. Let me make sure I have a right and a left glove. We don't want them both turned the same way and not work out correctly. So I've gotten them turned so that I have a right and a left. I'm going to lay my little spike where, you know, about where your first knuckle is going to be. And then what I'm going to do is knot the end of my thread and then just loosely tack it maybe in about three spots around the bottom of that cone, that circle shape on the bottom. We don't want to stitch it all the way to. We don't want to stitch it all the way around because it will mess with the stretch of the glove. So we want to still be able to move our hands and use them while we're wearing our costume. So I am just going to lightly Get a little bit of the glove, a little bit of the spike here, pull it through. I'm gonna do that for a few stitches because I also don't wanna show, sew my glove shut. All right, got a knot. Have about four or five stitches there and a knot. 
So it's just loosely tacked on there. It is attached, but not all the way around. I'm going to make another stitch kind of on either side to hold that there. And then same thing with the second spike. I have two gloves with the knuckles. Let's try them on and see. These are for my kids, so they are child size. We finished our costume. Let's put it on, put it all together, and see how it looks. Enjoy! Come visit me some more, check out some of our other videos, and let me know how your costume turned out. Yeah! And also mm -hmm. like and subscribe. Yeah, so like and subscribe. Thanks, boys.